was. Uh, uh, and then, you know, and that was my mammy. Oh, yeah. You know, her, her life mostly revolved around my daddy. Yeah. Y'all didn't heard that old saying for every action there's a reaction? Y'all didn't heard that, ain't you? Well, my, my daddy was the action, and my mammy was the reaction. Yes, sir. Well, since he didn't have sense enough to be scared of nothing, well, she had to be scared for him. Oh, man, yeah. Plenty of times my daddy got himself in the predicaments to be lynched down here in Dixie. And, well, it, it was my mammy who had to bait him out every time. Yes, uh, but you know, in spite of all the trouble that, in spite of all the trouble I had during my childhood life, I enjoyed it and I loved it every bit. And I reckon now that prepared me for when it growed up. Oh man, when it growed up, when it growed up, first thing I did was join the army, join the army, join the army. And the next thing I did was win a war. <laughs> yes, uh, see, during them times, you stood about just as much chance of getting shot by the Union soldiers as you did of getting shot by the Indians or the Mexican soldiers. Well, especially if you was a colored soldier that didn't know how to keep his mouth shut. Well, well, that was me. Yeah. It seemed like all those colored boys were signing up. Yeah, we figured by joining the army, we'd get treated with a little more respect. Well, I don't mind telling you got treated worse in the service than we did in civilian life. And don't say nothing about no protesting. Because well, they didn't waste no time putting you in front of no fire squad wall. Uh, so, rather than me taking a change on getting myself stood before the wall, I went over the wall. <laughs> Y'all excuse me. Let me pour myself a little bit of this coffee here. Uh, okay, hold on now. I'll be back with y'all in a little bit. Uh, here we go. Uh, uh, sir. Uh, was good. Uh, now, let's see, where was I? Oh, oh, I was eight wall. <laughs> well, I, I never did go back. Yeah, so I reckon I'm still a wall. And, well, right after that, well, I travel around the world for a little bit. What, wait a minute, no, I'm lying. It's more than a little bit. More like, well, 20 years or more. I went just about everywhere, I did just about everything, and I talked to just about everybody. Yes, sir. I even shook the hand of the great Frederick Douglass in Washington, D.C. And I rubbed the belly of the big fat Buddha in China. <laughs> yes, yes, I did. And, uh, well, after I got enough of traveling, I figured I'd better settle myself down and and getting myself married. And I was in my late forties by then. Oh, well, yeah, I, I reckon y'all say I started kind of late. And I tell you something else. I aim to finish late. <laughs> now, it, ain't, it ain't when you start so much. It's, well, it's how well you do once you done started. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, Lou Jane was my wife's name. He's mad for 50 good years. Well, 50 years and, well, wait, wait a minute, where's my fingers? All right, let me, I got to use my fingers again. Okay, okay, 50 years. One, two, wait, one, two, three months. Well, let me, one, two, three, four, no, no, not four, one, two, three, three weeks, one, two, three days, uh-huh, uh, wait a minute, let me get my pocket watch, I need the pocket watch now, uh, wait, oh, wait, here it is, uh, uh, let's see, 
three hours. Three minutes. Uh oh, y'all ain't gonna believe this here. <laughs> and any number of seconds. Don't you try to read my mind. Ha! <laughs> yes, uh, you know, me and Lou, we really did love one another. Oh, yes, we did. When we first laid eyes on one another, our hearts locked arms. Our minds hugged and squeezed. Our bodies, well, uh, waited till we got married. <laughs> you know, we, we end up having nine babies together. Sure did. Yeah, they, they come by to see me now and then. Yes, uh, that oldest boy of mine, he lived about a mile or two down the road there. But you know, it seemed like, seemed like I see more of my children who live up north than I do him. No, I ain't saying he don't come to see me. No, because he, he do come by to see me when he, when he can. Well, uh, but that's when his old age ain't got him tied to the bed. <laughs> that boy, that boy act older than me. I'm telling you. You know, uh, you know, uh, fact of the matter is, I never out had to put him in the old folks' home recently. Oh, sure I did. Yeah, the way he was behaving, I, I thought about putting him in the crazy house. <laughs> That's, uh, that boy, that boy kind of scared me there, you know? Yeah. Uh, well, let me tell you what happened. Uh, see, uh, I goes by his house, you know, to see how he be doing. And, uh, well, I knew he hadn't been doing too good, because, uh, well, uh, I'd, I'd go by there to see how he'd be doing, and, and I'd go by there and I'd knock on the door, and the door swang wide open. So I walk in there, and, and there he be, sitting in the dark. I mean, it's jet black in there, and he's sitting there talking to himself, sitting there just a mumbling. Ha! And from what I can make out, it sounds something like this here. Yeah, this way it sounds here. Yeah, I know, man. I know about my shoes. I told that about my shoes on my shoes. I don't know. I, I just got them out in the closet there and put them on them. But I don't know what I'm doing now. I, I tell you, I, I don't know. I, wait a minute. I, I'm with you. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I, I found out what his problem was, though. He told me he was trying to figure out where his white shoes done went. Well, you know what I did? I turned on the light in the closet. And that set his white shoes right there in front of him. I mean, they were sitting there just as white as they could be. And well, he bent down, pick up the shoes, look at them, then look up at me. Then look at the shoes, and then look back up at me, and then look at the shoes, and look up at me once more and say, Oh, well, uh, uh, Daddy, they, 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 they was black a few minutes ago. <laughs> Man, but you know, wait a minute, there's it, something in that. See, my son make me think of a lot of folk who don't yet understand that when your lights go out, and your soul ain't right. Well, don't make no never mind, be you black or white. 